Valentino giving me suits, gangster shit. Bronze Capo respectfully checking in. Your Zur Capo status. So since we've been on Ice Cube's neck, I never got a chance to tell y'all how the We Be Clubbing remix it has Vegas diss lyrics low key to me. And it seems like Ice Cube dragged DMX into his animosity towards Pac, even though Ice Cube has his own shit. And we all know DMX had diss lyrics towards Pac. Some say before Pac died, DMX had this recorded. Some say after, it doesn't matter. DMX had these lyrics. In New York, transforming ass niggas will get it quick. And yo, for real, that nigga Tupac can suck my dick. And it's gonna take all them niggas in the West Coast to barely move me. Cause when I blow. We know that. But when you listen to the energy of this song and how it's the formula of the gang related soundtrack made niggas with Pac and the Outlaws, the original made niggas video. And you know Ice Cube, we all said and we all agreed, or a few of us agreed, that the Bow Down video were similar to the Hit Em Up video. So for the gang related movie soundtrack, Made Niggas original music video, and the Hit Em Up video to have similar traits, of what Pac put out. It's a damn shame how Ice Cube don't give Pac at least the credit. Now a lot of Ice Cube fans and his fan base will disagree. And I don't blame y'all because y'all rep for Ice Cube. But here on this Pac channel called Discretion TV, we mansion. Peace. Taught Tupac how to keep it gangster. Yeah. Right. Show Biggie Smalls, Smalls how to, how to release, release his, his anger. anger. Yeah. You know, folks don't realize that you was doing this before them. Yeah. You know, and I mean, after that, after that line, yeah. What I say is, who came before me? Melly Mel Ice T, hey. King T, KRS, and the homie Chuck D, uh -huh. PE, DMC. Nigga, know your history. If Cube ain't top three, then use a bitch to me. There so, is. I'm shouting out. I'm shouting out the OGs who show me the game. Yeah. The West Side Connect thug ain't no California love, no. just California slug. Uh -huh. The West Side Connect thug ain't no California love, no. just California slug. I got this whole shit shook up. Everybody talking about this West Side shit, right? People like West uh, Ice Cube started. I was in jail when Ice Cube was out. No, that wasn't no problem. Uh -huh. The day I got out of jail, it was a motherfucking problem to be where the fuck you was from. The day I stepped out, that's power. I want these little niggas to see that. And, nigga, and everybody tried to be like him. And everybody, nobody was successful unless they came from his camp right, right. or they was down with him. Right, right. And that's how my shit is. Now that I'm the ball, and if I'm not, and, and if I'm not a good person, then it won't last long. Somebody will be able to overthrow me. Right, right. But I feel like my flaws yeah, and my shit, yeah, right? Yeah. But I feel like. Only way for that to happen is for a great, a fan of me to do that. Right. A, a fan of me. You know what I mean? Because I'm a, I was a fan of KRS-One. Right, right, LL, right, 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 right. All them right, niggas right, right. rocking. That's why even if they came out dissing me, I could destroy them. I've mastered their styles. They could keep writing new shit, but I've mastered their styles. Like the Five Deadly Venoms. Right, right. They had the Five Deadly Venoms, right? And the teacher made one more nigga that knew all their styles. So all he had to do was get next to a nigga like that and he could destroy it. All I need is a nigga from New York. You know what I'm with him? I had the dopest East Coast shit in the fucking world. 
I mastered that shit. Cause East Coast niggas love real shit. Like West Coast niggas love real shit. Right, right. Mastered that. All I gotta do is get more, get deep into the drums. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And get deep into the science of the five boroughs, cause that's what that is. Right. But when you get to the science of the five boroughs, that's so small. Is. Like, you know what I mean? I don't care if you put it out there or not, but I, I just don't like, like, I, I dig Ice Cube. I looked up to him. But because I looked up to him and I studied his style, mastered his shit, I know what he's doing is wrong. He's shit ain't selling, so now he's going on the war shit, right, and he's right. using us right. as the gas. He just dropped some shit called Bad Am. And if you listen to it, you can see he heard hit him up and was like, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. Why he wasn't b- making him Bad Am when I was in jail? That's what I mean, that's wrong. Right. See, now that's wrong. And I'm not gonna let that happen, because then that would make me obsolete. If I let him come back and take, you can't have this. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. And De La Soul and all these niggas, I won't let them do that. Like Melly Mel and them, them true pioneers. They dissed me, if they dissed me, I would've dissed them. But they came to the studio, every time I see them niggas, I, I, I bow down respectfully. Not bow down to them as men or right, as performers, right. but as elders. Like, that's like if you see any old mob nigga coming. You know what I mean? Get no, that nigga a table that. before you give me a table. Right, right, let him right, in right. before you let me in. Cause I do know I'm the Don now. Uh-huh. But I know if I'm not the Don, I want that respect. Because that to be the Don at one point means you had to have something. Right. And for him to write the message and all that shit, it did inspire me, it did do something for me. He got a pass. Right. Um, it was out of that love that I was like, yo, thug life is dead. I was like, while I'm in jail, this is going to jail with me. Uh-huh. Nobody has the power, nobody is like me to be able to represent this while I'm locked down. I thought I was going away for years. I couldn't let nobody represent that. And, all, and I was seeing how many soldiers I had by coming to jail. Who killed Tupac and Biggie? You know, I think both of these dudes were assassinated in some kind of way. More Biggie than Tupac. I think Tupac might have uh, got killed by a dude that they, that they, you know, had an incident with earlier that day. But Biggie's is, seems a little JFK. governmental. <laughs> well, you know, it's like the music started here in New York. And, uh, you know, I guess some rappers, I guess, take so much pride in that that to hear rap from other places it's just, you know, no good always, you know, you know, like the West Coast is no good or the South is no good. And, you know, th- th- this is like the Mecca for rap. New York. New York the is East. the Mecca right. for rap music. It's, it's where all the, 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 most of the magazines come from, all the, video, you know, MTV's out here. You have BT that's in D.C. It's like, you know, all of the music gets, uh, I say, broadcasted from New York or most of it. And, and, and they took on an attitude like we're superior. And then the West Coast, we started gain, gaining recognition with N.W.A. and Dr. Dre and these things. So the guys out there said, man, you know, we need to break down this, this little, you know, I guess, club they have here in New York and try to break that market. And, and so it became uh, a public feud. And then you had two big crews like Bad Boy, Death Row. They were, you know, they really had a problem with each other. And that's... Bad Boys on the East, Death Row was on the West, and that kind of, it built into, you know, the East Coast, West Coast beef. Well, you know, it's really, we don't know really what happened with, with Tupac. We kind of know, you, you know, that they got into it with some people, and then, you know, the thing happened in Vegas. And then you have Biggie Smalls, who, who's in Los Angeles, and something, you know, he gets murdered in Los Angeles. And... You know, it's a whole lot of questions that's unanswered, but this whole, these whole deaths, Tupac and Biggie, are going to always be, like, contributed to the East Coast, West Coast beef. You know, they're always going to say, and that's why I, these two, you know, giant artists are, are dead now. Only, was it Only One Me? Only One Me. Yeah. Um, I believe it's on that song where you say, I taught Tupac how to keep it gangster. Yeah. Right? I show Biggie Smalls, Smalls how, to how to release, release his, his anger. anger. Yeah. You know, folks don't realize that you was doing this before them. Yeah, you know, and I mean, after that, after that line, yeah, what I say is, who came before me, Melly Mel Ice T, hey. King T, KRS, and the homie Chuck D, mm-hmm. P.E., DMC, nigga know your history. If Cube ain't top three, then use a bitch to me. There so I'm shouting, out, I'm shouting out the OGs who showed me the game. Yeah. So I got to talk about the people who came after me, and I showed them the game. 
Did you did you ever meet Pac at that time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we talk was, about that. I mean, we was cool, you know. Mm-hmm. He was in digital. Yeah. And he was uh the most energetic <laughs> dude yeah. I knew, you know, at the time. You know, he was just full of fun, mm-hmm. full of energy. You know, we were so young and happy just to be uh engulfed in hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because hip hop was an East Coast thing and we felt like locals trying to, you know, just make a name for ourselves, trying to be heard. Uh, Ice Cube started. I was in jail when Ice Cube was out. No, that wasn't no problem. Uh-huh. The day I got out of jail, it was a motherfucking problem to be where the fuck you was from. The day I stepped out, that's power. I want these little niggas to see that. Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangsters.